grill. So I never got seated and kosher took over. So it's kind of ugly in here and it left some ruts, so let's clean it up. Shit, we're clogged. This is the Versatile Fury high speed disc. It's 40 feet, pulling it with the fence. It's heavy, it's aggressive. It's got the double notch discs, front and back. You can get uh, the rear discs in plain. Uh, we wanted them both notched, it's more aggressive. Chop up this residue a little bit more. It's got the rubber roller in the back to pack it back in. So I just stopped here to see kind of how it works. It throws it the one way and then it throws it again the other way. Packs it back in here. So I'm disking today with this into the pea stubble because when your peas are lodged and you can't cut them turns into a residue like this and it is tough to seed the next year. There's all this still left in the field here. Yeah, we missed out on a lot of peas. So if it was a nice hot spring day, 30 some degrees with a 40k wind, yeah, you maybe could seed through this, maybe. But if it's 12 degrees and cloudy, yeah, you're not you're not getting through this, and it's gonna it's gonna do a very poor job of seeding into this pea stubble. So that's why we're disking it down, it's making a nice seed bed here. It's making kind of like a mulch. That's actually really nice. So all this residue is just chopped up to nothing. Doing every second pass. So I'm on my way back now. I got a slew there, so I got two passes there and then I'm on my way back the other way. Yeah, like just, just so much material left. But this is really nice. Nice and black seed into there. I'm set at about two inches. You can go, uh, yeah, two to five. You can go deeper. I think this is good. There's scrapers on the back. Scrape off the mud on this roller. The back row wants to build up a little bit with uh, with dirt. It's just because there's so much moisture. It's just kind of borderline for uh, moisture in the field. This thing doesn't like mud. Um, but uh, I was doing not a bad job. I had to um, kick some dirt off here this morning. But as you get as you get going, it kind of self cleans itself. These are all maintenance free bearings. So that's nice. You blow the bearing, you just <clears throat> one bolt and uh, change the whole thing. If you hit a rock or something, that's your give. So they're all independent instead of like a, a big gang of five or eight or 10, they're all individual. Just one more look at the difference here before we get going again. So that's our seed bed now. We'll pack in over winter. Be a nice seed bed to seed into instead of going into all that. Just tried to cut these peas as low as we could and that's all we could do. It was so wet when we're cutting them. And push a little dirt on the knife. If you've been following along, you saw that. And yeah, this is what's left. So this is what we're doing now. So I can do everything a disc can do, plus more. That's what they're telling me. 22 inch blades. As you can see, I'm just chopping there, just spinning. Looks 
looks like they're kind of barely in the ground. I think they're doing a pretty good job. But it's heavy. It's, it's, this tractor definitely feels it. It's rated for 10 to 17 horsepower per, per foot. So at 40 feet, you can, do the, you can do the math on that. So if I can do 40 acres an hour, pretty good because I got 300 acres to do here just over half done I want to do all these all this piece double plus I can disc sloughs and fence lines and field edges and everything a disc can do which we do every fall anyways you know I can get a lot done but I'm going eight and a half I got my uh, two cruises set, eight and a half, when I'm going straight, and then five on the corners, and I'm in float for my wings and my fold. So I'm not going crazy fast, kind of right in the middle for where it's rated for speed, anywhere from five miles an hour to 12. Once you get going, you know, 10 and over, it seems like you're going pretty fast. We can go to 10 here and feels like RPMs climbing a bit. I'm on my tractor management system. It's set at, set at 1550, but it never revs to that. It likes to idle along at 1450. You know, you're, you're ripping when you're going 10. I'm going across the seated. It's pretty smooth actually, it's not that rough in the in the two track, but that's that over a set of my crews at 8.5. I think that's pretty good. Can't turn very sharp. This is five miles an hour. I lift out and turn at this speed on my corners. So you can still use the disc at this speed to say you're doing cattails or sloughs or something it's still gonna chop it's still doing a pretty good job and my fuel usage is about uh, around 10 gallons an hour if I hit uh, the cruising speed It's heavy. It's a heavy pull. Smoothing out these gopher holes too. There goes my coffee. Plus it works as a post-harvest burn off. It's gonna kill a lot of these peas that uh, germinated in the rains after harvest and some weeds, whatever doesn't freeze off. Where there's a little bit lighter residue does a really good job then. Packs it right back in, no clumps. There's barely any clumps to begin with. But yeah, really impressed with that field finish. Just a total seed bed prep machine. Sprayer right here. Let's fill it in. back a little bit. Well, peas are done. 350 acres of them here. So we can fold up, move down the road. Don't have to do any full fields anymore, just sloughs and kochia and stuff like that. So folding up, letting all the dirt drop off, wings folding in, put them on the cradle, it's nice and narrow for transport. Horsetail tillage is supposed to kill this. I don't know if this is deep enough to 
do that, but it's not going to hurt. This field is full of it, so I'm lifting it up where there isn't any, and then putting it down where there is. Now it's pretty thick here. Did it chop it up? Some. It's some still attached. It helped. Got lots, but some is still, well, it did a pretty good job. I don't know if that'll kill it or I'll just keep growing. 